Now, talking about yeah. mental health in the workplace, how can you put in, in place effective monitoring? Of mental health? Uh, mm. That's a, a double-edged sword because as soon as you start asking people to rate how well am I feeling today, for example, and I've seen some try to do it with good intentions, it forces the person to look inwards and look for problems. And so what happens is people go, oh, yeah, I, actually, I am a little bit stressed about that. And it's and they snowball. It, it builds and it becomes a focus of looking for problems as opposed to how do I just feel even better? How do I feel even more confident, more capable, more resilient, stronger, happier, more relaxed, more creative, all of those things. So what ways can you monitor it? I think less is more sometimes. You do want to take the pulse of the organisation and you can do a, a, we recommend sort of an annual basis, having some kind of survey that t covers on a number of different topics, but mental health wellbeing should be just one of them. Mm -hmm. And it needs to be worded very, very carefully so that you're not creating problems, that you're getting a sense of where things are at. So you can make sure your activities that you're implementing are making a difference as well. And how can yeah. you do it without being intrusive? Uh, well, the, the or do online, you have to intrude? We do have an online assessment for organisations yeah. that can be done that is worded in such a way where we get a, a true picture, not mm. making matters worse. Mm. Um, and that, how we avoid that being intrusive if, is by making it highly private. Yeah. So we get the results and we don't know who said what. It's just gone out to the whole anonymous. world. Completely anonymous. So it's completely anonymous. And that gives, the, that gives organizations uh, a true picture of where things are at. Yeah. Yeah.